Hello again. We're back. This time we're going to talk about layer styles. You may be familiar with them and or have already used them, but now you'll get to see the full explanation of them. When you're a creative person using Photoshop, one of the greatest benefits of using the program is the ability to create illusions. Using layer effects allows you the ability to accomplish this very easily. So let's get started. Our goals for you by the end of this uh, video or lecture are to be able to define layer styles and understand how they are used in Photoshop and to create various effects, to identify characteristics and capabilities of layer effects and styles, and to experiment with various layer styles including bevel, emboss, shadows, strokes, gradients, and pattern overlays. You will also learn how to use layer styles to transform your images. Let's start by answering the question, what is a layer effect? A layer effect is a non-destructive edit applied to a layer that creates a unique stylized effect. Layers can be made from vector art, which are type and shapes, or they can be made from rasterized or pixel-based images and elements. These layer effects include bevel embossed stroke, inner shadow, satin, color overlay, gradient overlay, pattern overlay, outer glow, drop shadow, etc and are applied via the Add Layer Styles button at the bottom of the Layers panel. And you can see this in the slideshow that's on screen now. There's a little FX button that stands for Effects. To apply a layer effect, simply follow these steps. Select the layer you wish to edit. Press the Add Layer Style button at the bottom of the Layers panel. Select the effect you wish to apply, for example, a gradient overlay. The layer style dialog box will appear. Make adjustments until you create your desired effect. Select OK to accept your changes. And so now I'll jump over to Photoshop and show you how that's done. So Whitney and I created a new document that has some text in it that matches the slideshow here. And you can see that it's text that says happy. It's fully editable. If I grab the type tool and I select the text, we could change the words. I could change the color, etc. But without having to make destructive editing choices, I could use effects. Let's zoom in here for a second. And I can apply a, a layer effect. And so I've applied two right now. I have a color overlay to change the color. So now it's red. And if I turn off the color overlay, you can see that I also applied a gradient overlay to change the color of the text to have a gradient. And so the only way to change the color of the text to have a gradient is either to rasterize your text and make it a shape and then fill the shape with a gradient or to use a layer effect. And so let me show you how we did that. The first thing we did was select the layer that says happy, and then we selected the add layer effect uh, option on the bottom of the layers panel. You can choose any of the layer effects, and so for our example, we'll choose the gradient overlay. When we choose the gradient overlay, a layer style dialog box will open. We have, let's zoom in again here, we have the gradient overlay selected and because I have it highlighted here on the left hand side all the choices I see on the right hand side are tied to the layer effect which is the gradient overlay and so you can change the gradient and so you can see as I click I'll move this inside for a second as I click through these gradient options you can see that different gradients affect the text in different ways in addition to this you could play around with the blending modes that we've learned about previously and you could have the color of your background text, in our case it's black, um, interact with the color that's on the, the main part of the text. Now for the color overlay or the gradient overlay I think the best option for your blend mode would be normal because then you will see the true effect of the gradient that you are applying. 